gosh. You'll like never guess who I'm going to prom with. Oh my gosh, like you'll never guess who I'm going to prom with. Oh my gosh, like you got a date too? Oh my gosh, don't act so totally shocked. Oh my gosh, I forgot. You're just so overly sensitive. It just makes me want to barf. Oh my gosh. Kathy, if you were being more totally honest with yourself, you just said how overly sensitive I am, it makes you want to bark. Oh my gosh, I forgot what an incredibly insensitive cow you are. Oh, at least I don't like give away my milk for free. You're totally charging these days? <sighs> oh my gosh, I feel totally horrible. Oh my gosh, me too. Oh my gosh, Kathy, you're like my BFF. And I totally can't believe we're like having an argument right now. This should be one of our most beautiful and full of cheer bonding moments of our beautiful and full of cheer teenage years. Oh my gosh, I like can't believe we are like having an argument right now. We are BFFs. This is supposed to be the most beautiful bonding moments of our full of cheer teenage years. Oh my gosh, then tell me, who are you going to prom with? Oh my gosh, no, you told me who you're going to prom with. Oh my gosh. Okay, like, let's both say his name at the same time. Oh my gosh, okay. Ready, Ready set, okay. A good friend is someone you can count on no matter what. A good friend will root you on and celebrate your successes. A good friend will join in on your cheesy humor even if they're not that punny. A good friend will share with you the ups and downs of life. A good friend will be able to look back on life's adventures and be able to make more memories. The Banality Breeze by Shannon Cartwright. Ready, set, okay, Dallin! Oh my gosh, you're going to our senior prom with Dallin Foster, quarterback of the football team? Oh my gosh, no! I can't believe you think I'd go out with such a me-head like that. I'm going with Dallin Baker, the totally fine captain of the hockey team. Oh my gosh, like for a second, I totally thought you were going to say Dallin Graham from the chess club. As if. We should totally go to the mall and check out new prom dresses. Oh my gosh, totally. But only if we can like stop at the smoothie shop first and get Italian ice first. Like, that's totally something to cheer about. Let's, Let's go. go! This salad is delicious, and the dressing is to die for. How's your roast beef? It's fine. Hey, Pam, are you okay? You look upset. It's Megan. Susan, I don't know what to do. She's decided she never wants to eat meat again. Oh, no! Her class went on a field trip to a meat processing plant, so now she's a vegetarian. Well... You know how popular being vegan is these days. No, this isn't about fitting in. Megan needed to use the restroom. Her teacher excused her, but Megan, not knowing her way around the plant, opened the wrong door. <laughs> she went into the men's restroom. Worse, she walked into the room where they were slaughtering the cows. Well, I suppose it could have been worse. Oh, it was. Some of the blood splattered on her new white sweater. It was just a few drops, but to hear her scream, you'd think she came home looking like Sissy Spacek from that 1980s horror film, Carrie. Poor thing. I bet she was terrified. Yeah. I told her she was allowed to be a vegetarian, but I was going to hold her accountable for everything she puts in her mouth. What did she say? Nothing. She just walked into the kitchen, reached into the cookie jar, and grabbed a handful of cookies. How funny. So I told her to march right back into the kitchen and put them back. I reminded her that being a vegetarian means you aren't allowed to eat animal crackers. Hey, I've got a question. If vegetarians eat vegetables, what do humanitarians eat? Good question. I'm not sure. But why do they serve round pizza in a square box? Ooh. Good question, I'm not sure. But hey, if you're eating a cold hot pocket, aren't you just eating a pocket? Good question, I'm not sure. Okay, but can you get cavities in your dentures from using too much artificial sweetener? Good question, I'm not sure. But hey, if we say cheese,
system where we're getting our photo taken. What does she say when it's getting its photo taken? <laughs> Good question. I'm not sure. Maybe it would say something like, Holy cow! <laughs> Oh, hey, speaking of holy, what are you bringing to the church social this weekend? I'm making deviled eggs. What are you bringing? Devils, food cake, with cream cheese frosting. Well, you've obviously got more time than I have right now. I haven't done any baking in weeks. Speaking of time, look at your watch. We're going to be late picking up the kids. Lunch, same time next week. I wouldn't miss it for the world. <clears throat> Gladys. Have I ever told you you're my dearest friend? Not today, Nettie. Have I ever told you you're my oldest friend? Oh, I am not. What about Gertrude? She's nearly 98 years old. She may be older, but she's not my friend. Did you two have another fight? I told her to leave my denture cream alone, did she? No, she thought it was a jar of Nuxima and spit all over her face. And now, Every ball of lint that flies into her room sticks to one of her many chins. Gladys, do you like being old? Well, it has its advantages. Advantages? Like what? Well, we're less likely to get kidnapped. That's true, I suppose. And. We'll probably be the first ones released in a hostage situation. True. <clears throat> no one expects us to run into a burning building. <clears throat> well, I know my arthritis is a better meteorologist than the National Weather Service. <laughs> and there's nothing left to learn in life the hard way. I'll tell you a secret. I've stopped holding my stomach in, no matter who walks in the room. Truth be told, I enjoy hearing about other people's operations. Well, in anything we buy, we can't wear out. See, there are lots of advantages to getting on in the years, but you've neglected the number one benefit. What's that, sweetheart? I can tell you my deepest, darkest secret, and tomorrow, you won't remember a thing. <laughs>